On your next trip to the beach, you want to keep your eyes peeled for a small blue critter lurking near the shore. Here's what they look like. Many of you have been letting us know they're showing up at our local beaches. News for Jack's meteorologist Jonathan Stacy says that these jellyfish-like creatures may seem hard, harmless, but you should think twice before you touch them. With gusty onshore winds, there's not only a high risk for rip currents, but there's also a pretty good chance that marine life could wash ashore. But there is one small sea creature few have heard about that's becoming common along our beaches. Have you ever heard or seen a blue button jellyfish? No. No. Nope. Blue butt jellyfish? That's it. Never knew there was any such thing. I'm afraid not. We haven't found any of those blue button jellyfish here on Jacksonville Beach today, but I hear they are popping up here, there, and everywhere. Viewers have sent us dozens of photos of the tiny blue creatures from St. Augustine Beach all the way to Fernandina Beach. They aren't really a true jellyfish at all. In fact, they're what we call a colonial hydroid. UNF biology professor Kelly Smith explains why the critters named for their resemblance to blue buttons have been popping up on our shores lately. You have the hydroids around the central disk that is actually chitinized and forms a float. And so that keeps these guys up at the surface. And so they just kind of drift around with the waters. And so if there is a prevailing wind, they're going to get blown into shore. So if you see a small critter on the beach that looks like it came from Grandma sewing kit, you know what it is. At Jack's Beach, Jonathan Stacy, Channel 4, the local station.